So tell you, diesel prices soaring too. That's obviously not good news. And one trucking company says that thieves are going after their fuel because of that. Fox 40's Claudette Stefanian shows us how a business that relies on fuel is running low on options. That's why we don't put a locking one anymore. Let them just open it and steal it. Ali Khalil of Easy Truck Rental in Sacramento says if times weren't tough enough, he now has thieves eyeing the diesel fuel in his trucks. The very fuel, he says, is now costing him double at the pump, with the state's average at almost $7, according to AAA. He showed us how they're making off with the fuel. What they do is they come in, they put these uh, five or ten gallon tanks on the bottom, and they, they literally poke a hole right at the curve of the fuel tank where that's they get the most fuel out. Khalil says ever since diesel prices spiked, his fuel has become a hot ticket item for crooks. But less fuel is the least of Khalil's worries. Each time they strike, a new tank is needed, costing him anywhere between a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. Sometimes we, we almost feel um, like it would be better off for that guy to come in and say, hey, listen, I'm going to steal your fuel today. Uh, you want to give me some fuel? I'd rather give him the money. You can't weld the fuel tank. You can't do anything other than put a brand new fuel tank. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office tells us they're not seeing a trend with gas thefts, but the Yolo County Sheriff's Office is reporting a rise just last week. It's primarily from agricultural properties. Um, I think we've been experiencing about anywhere between 200 to 500 gallons of fuel taken at a time. The thieves made holes like this to get inside and steal the fuel, but one of the main problems is the amount of trucks that's in this lot. It's hard to catch the thieves in the act. The bent gate and the closed up holes show how thieves have maneuvered their way in over the months. Khalil says he's now paying for overnight security to protect his lot, lighting his property at night, and lighting his fence with items to deter crooks from coming in. But high fuel prices are causing more issues than just thefts. We were only surviving for the driver, and unfortunately we had to let the drivers go because we weren't making no money in it. Reporting in Sacramento, Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News. Thanks, Claudette.